NanoLine is a small programmable controller that can be programmed using either flowchart or relay ladder logic. It controls small to mid-sized machines that require only a few I.O. points and has a total I.O. count of 24 digital inputs and 16 digital outputs when three I.O. expansion modules are added. The NanoLine is programmed via the Nano Navigator software, which can be downloaded free at www.nanonavigator.com. Right now, we're going to show you just how easy it is to program the NanoLine using flowchart programming in Nano Navigator. In this demonstration, we're going to use flowchart programming to simulate an application where a valve controls the flow of water into a tank as the contents drain through a separate pipe. The NanoLine will monitor the level of the water in the tank through a sensor and open or close the valve whenever the water reaches the proper level. A push button will be used to simulate a sensor in this application. When the push button is on, it indicates the water level is at the correct level and the inlet valve should be turned off. If the push button is off, it indicates the water drain below the required level and that the inlet valve must be turned on to refill the tank. An output will control the valve. On indicates an open valve and off indicates a closed valve. After opening the Nano Navigator software, select the Run Connection Wizard. Whenever the wizard appears, select the New button and then select Create Flowchart. The first step is to check the water level in the tank to decide if the water valve should be turned on or off. By using a decision block and a switch connected to input zero, we can make the appropriate decision. To complete this step, select the decision icon on the toolbar. Drop the decision block into cell A1. Double click the decision block to open the decision block dialog box. For this example, we will select data type as input, data item as input zero, and on for the condition. The decision block ask is input zero on. If the answer is yes, the NanoLine will turn the water inlet valve off to stop the tank from filling, which is accomplished via a control block. It is important to note that each possible answer to the decision question requires a separate control block. To create this control block, select the control icon on the toolbar. Drop the control block into cell A2. Double click that control block in cell A2. For this control block, we will select data type as output, output zero as data item, and turn off as the action. If the answer to the decision block question is input zero on is no, the NanoLine should open the water inlet valve to fill the tank, which is accomplished via a control block. To create this control block, select the control icon on the toolbar. Drop the control block into cell B2. Double click the control block in cell B2. For this control block, we will select the data type as output, output zero as the data item, and turn on as the action. The NanoLine operator panel can display a message of on or off for the state of the water inlet valve. To create this message, select messages from the view menu on the toolbar. In the current message drop-down menu, select display message 00. Select the desired character block and type corresponding text. For this example, we will use inlet valve is. To insert a data field, such as the status of output zero, in this example, select the character block at the desired location. In the type drop-down menu, select output. In the data item drop-down menu, select the output zero, zero option. Select the insert button. Select the save button. Select the close button. After this message is created in the message editor, it must be added to the flowchart. To do this, select the message icon on the toolbar, drop the message block in cell A3, double click the message block in cell A3 to open the message block dialog box. Select display message 00 in the message number drop down menu. To complete the flowchart, the blocks must be connected. Move the cursor over the connection point of cell A0 and click once. To indicate a proper location, a color change occurs when the cursor is in the right location. Move the cursor over the connection point of cell A1 and click once. The color change indicates a correct location. Cells A0 and A1 are now connected. By following the same process, we will connect A1 yes side to A2, A1 no side to B2, A2 to A3, B2 to A3, and A3 to A1. 
To run the project on the Nanoline, it must be downloaded to the controller. Select the Download and Go icon from the toolbar. The logic executed shows the inlet valve is on, meaning the water has drained below the required level and the tank needs to be refilled. The hardware mirrors the executed logic with the output on and the display message being inlet valve is on. To simulate the tank is at the required level and the valve will close, we turn the input on by the push button, which turns the output off and the display message changes to inlet valve is off. For more information on the Nanoline or Nano Navigator software, please visit www.phoenixcontact.com/nanoline.